What's up, YouTube? I just wanted to start the video off in the new van. New to me, at least. So, yes, sir. I'll show you guys an exterior video here in a minute. But just wanted to start the video off with this bad boy. She is, boys. The new whip arena. Activity. Like this is what I'm more excited about right here. This little department area. Here she is inside view, cock pilot. The only thing it needs is just a seat cover. You know, other than that, everything's in perfect condition. And that's where the magic happens. It's mostly for my. It's gonna be mostly for our little water business. And I'm gonna put on the screen our little decal. Do a nice little decal on the side of the van. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That hawk up too. We're gonna put a nice decal right here. I'm gonna put a screenshot of what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look good. YouTube, it's another stunt lot day. We're out here at the good old trusty data. The good old trusty data lot, boys. And we're back out on the, the good old trusty FZ. Um, yeah, we're out here with just the boys. Good old Tuesday sesh. I feel like this is becoming a thing now, or every Tuesday, Wednesday. Either one of those two days, depending if it's hot or raining, we come out and have a good little lot sesh with the boys. A little bit of that haka too. Bro, that chick, apparently she was a teacher. Uh, from what I've seen, I don't know, don't quote me on it. Could be bad information. But apparently she was a teacher, and her dad is like some type of lawyer. So she got fired because of that. But, you never know crazy nowadays you gotta be careful what you what you say out in public because might come back and get you especially saying something like that that can go viral real quick if you know what i mean jelly bean you know one thing i haven't done in a while podium oh i probably won't be able to knock it right now my leg feels a little too tired a little too tired for some reason this law every time i ride it i feel like my legs are so tired. Like I feel more like lazy. When I go to boss, I'm freaking fired up. <sighs> but the good thing about these little lots, man, is they teach you a lot. You gotta be quick. You gotta be quick with it. You gotta be quick with your combos because you only have a certain amount of length. So it teaches you to bounce, 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 bounce. Let me fix my seat because it's loose. I ain't really trying to jump on a loose seat. That thing. Yeah. I took the fairings off the back. Look how, look how naked that looks. Wow. <laughs> but when you put the seat on it, it makes it look a little better. The reason I took it off was to fix my stock bike, which is almost ready to go, boys. I just need to do some little tweaking here and there. And uh, hopefully the next couple videos should should be that bike. Are you running it? I told him to run idle now. He can do, now that he can do no throttle hand, uh, he can do no handers with stock idle. I told him to try it with idle. No idle, no handers is cool, but you can't do them as long. Unless you're coming in like super hot and FZ is like a wobble, so it's it's very uh it's it's not the best bike to do no handers. Stock idle? What? Stock idle? Weak. Weak. Put mine at I'm gonna set mine at like four. Better pull me a little bit. Whoa! 
This lot is tricky though. This lot, it's at an angle, so you kind of you kind of have to like counter steer, or you'll end up pancaking. Look at Joey go, pro fashion. Whoa, like that. <laughs> See with idle you can you can keep them going a little longer but you have to balance it out. When you do stock idle you gotta come in with some speed and then it starts wobbling on you. This is more consistent. Ah I can't. <laughs> I don't do them that much to, to the point where I get them knocked out every time I ride. But sheesh. no anders are cool. Woo! My handbrake's cooler. You can do more stuff for sure. You can do a lot more stuff. But I always tell everybody, learn foot brake and then learn handbrake but i wouldn't get too stuck up on learning foot brake just because it it will slow you down foot brake is not a hard thing to do and uh it will slow you down from learning other stuff that you could have already progressed on i feel like once you get the basics out start to mess with handbrake just because you end up getting stuck once you'll be riding foot brake for so long that you'll never learn how to use the handbrake. You'll never be able to use that handbrake, baby. That was my issue. I did one full year on a Grom with no handbrake. And if I would have just stuck to the, if I would have done a handbrake before, I would have learned a lot quicker in that year. Yeah, so don't don't get too caught up, boy. There's certain people that love it, and I mean, if you ride a dirt bike that you know typically you don't use handbrakes on those bad boys, then I would. I mean, that's a different story. Cause that's a whole different riding genre. You really don't use handbrakes on those things. And there's people that strictly ride dirt bikes, and that's all they ride, and that's cool. Cause this is sport bikes and uh, adventure bikes with handbrakes are a whole different ball game than just doing sit downs. It's a lot more dangerous, a lot more risky, and there's a lot more to it than just sitting down, pushing the brake. Jeez! You know you gotta get that stoppy work in. Dude, stoppies are my new addiction. It's like it's like opening up a new jar of tricks, you know. Like, I got kind of worn out of doing all the other stuff. This is way too bumpy right there. It's like, I don't like it because it, it shoots me up a little bit. And if I'm a little too high, it, that's not going to be good. My boy Bash. Yeah, you're getting them, getting them to stop you. pretty good but the floor feels so uneven and it just like I 
I feel a little play on my bars. I don't like that. Sheesh, that felt that one felt pretty good. Call that meant to freeze. Feeling a little too squishy. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been a good one. 